Well, many will be taking advantage of any good weather that they can find and taking to the roads for this Memorial Day. And with the return to normalcy amid the pandemic, state police will be out in full force. WBRE 28, WYOU 22 Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes joins us live with a look at what drivers can expect. Good morning, Kevin. Well, good morning, guys. You know, you take a look at where we were this time last year. Quarantine still largely in effect, so no surprise that many are going to take to the roads. Take that opportunity while state police will also be ready. Now, their annual weekend of enforcement kicked off yesterday with checking car seat installations and will roll into high gear today through the weekend with the travel. More manpower, DUI checkpoints, and everything that comes with making sure the unofficial start of the summer kicks off as safely as possible. Talking with Troop P's Deanna Pekanski, it's the tips that we've heard since we were in driver's ed that will help keep these communities across the Commonwealth safe over this holiday weekend. The things that I've been going over, safety tips, people should know when they're learning how to drive. They should use it over all the years. Have somebody available that you can call. Don't think, oh, I'm okay, I'm just a buzz. You don't want to buzz drive either. We want people to enjoy the weekend, the holiday weekend, but have a good time. Now, all the standard tips apply. Give yourself plenty of time, have a plan, and be extra vigilant on the roads as there's extra emphasis on safety. Things like the new state's move over law and many others will be heavily enforced throughout the next couple of days. And after the year we've had, again, it's no surprise we're going to see that uptick of people wanting to get out, enjoy some fresh air, go celebrate the weekend. But it's no surprise that you'll see plenty of state police as well as municipal officers out making sure that everything is A-OK. -okay. For now, reporting live in Hanover Township, Kevin Hayes, 2822 Eyewitness News.